Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to explain line following robot, which is one of the first robot a hobby student make it when they jump into the field of robotics. But we are making this without any microcontroller this time. No Arduino, no programmable device, only ICs and electronics components. The idea of line follower robot is there is a white surface with black line or it can be opposite black surface with white line. There are two wheels. If both of them are running, the, mo the robot will move forward. If one of them stops, the robot other tire is moving. So it will start turning towards the stop tire. So using this idea, we are going to make. So there are two sensors, one for the left, one for the right. They are receiving the intensity of light reflected from the surface. White reflects more and black reflects less. So the intensity is different if the sensor is facing the white surface or black surface. Just for assumption, if the intensity of light from white is giving you a voltage of 3.2 and black is giving you a voltage of 2.8 then I can set a threshold let us say in between both of them 3 volt I then I use one comparator so input voltage 3.2 on white is more than threshold 3 output will be 1 the wheels will rotate as soon as one of the sensor is on the black line, the voltage on the sensor will be 2.8, less than 3, this wheel will stop. This wheel will still run. So it will turn like this and both the sensors will come back on the white again and it will again move forward. Similarly, I can make a right move like this. So what do we need? We need two sensors, two thresholds, two comparators, no microcontroller and motor drivers. Motor drivers can also be made using DJTs. You don't need uh, L293D every time. So this is the setup. I have left part of the robot, right part of the robot. This is my left sensor, threshold setting for left sensor and the left wheel right sensor threshold for right sensor and the right wheel and let me run the simulation both the wheels are stopped because this ldr is on the black side this ldr is also on the black side so we move them to the white when we move them to the white the motors start running this threshold we need to set which is very high we need to set it reasonably equally right so both the motors are running at same speed we are moving forward any sensor goes to the black line that particular motor will stop how much black how much white you want to detect you can set using this threshold you can set the threshold where do you want to stop where do you want to run so when you go to the practical implementation these are the potentiometers that you have to fine tune for setting the threshold the circuit is very simple as we have explained this is my sensor this is my threshold these two are going as input to the op amp and output of op amp is driving the motor instead of using l293d i am using djt for current amplification with a diode to avoid reverse current so this is done for both of them i just want to show you the speed of my motors the speed of my motor is 17000 rpm and if I don't use this BJT, if I remove the BJT and I drive my motor directly from the output pin, then the speed is almost half. 
so we are having a good amount of current amplification with this common emitter configuration so this is a very simple implementation of line following robot that you can make even without using any arduino so we'll continue our learning with more circuits and more projects thank you